Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Strawberry Pop Tarts don't have enough strawberries. That's right. And a Karen is suing. Or a bunch of Karens. aren't schnozberries. They're not schnozberry enough. We're going to talk about something a little different. It is funny. Something a little different. Stupid lawsuit. It is. They want five million dollars for this, and I'm like, and they, and then they want it changed on the packaging. You know, the, that's not listed as strawberry. Thing is, okay, I kind of see their point on some levels. Oh, this is only on the whole whole grain kind too, by yeah. the way. Um, but I'm like, if you read the ingredients on the back, it tells you this. So they didn't hide it. And, you know, they're going to, because it's not nutritionally as, as, you know, good as strawberries. But we found proof that that might not necessarily be the case. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture. I almost said Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart. Subscribe for more Pop-Tart news. <laughs> subscribe for more Pop-Tart news. Uh, more, more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 238,000 subs. Thank you for the support. We this, do not usually talk about Pop-Tarts. This is the what WTF moment for, for the week. Yeah, we're going to tie it into animation, though. So there's that. Yes. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, how, how Pop-Tarts ripped off this animator uh, a little bit later. But let's talk about this dumb, dumb lawsuit. Uh, we got multiple versions of it. TMZ, I think, broke it. Not enough strawberries. Yeah, so go ahead and read it, and then we'll talk about how dumb it is. Kellogg's is trying to pull a fast one by hyping up the strawberries and some of their Pop-Tarts because there are very few of the actual berries inside. This according to a new lawsuit. The breakfast food giant is being sued in a new class action lawsuit alleging Kellogg's is misleading consumers about what they're really eating when they bite into the toaster paste. Well, when I think of Pop-Tarts, I don't think of healthy choices to begin with. A New York woman, oh, of course, New York. A New York woman named Elizabeth Russett. I'm offended because she's not a potato. I was just thinking <laughs> that. Are you really? <laughs> How many kids does she have? Are they tater tots? I don't know. She's leading the crusade against Kellogg's in her suit. She claims the, the fruit filling in Kellogg's whole grain frosted strawberry toaster pastry pastries is mostly other fruits. Well, at least it's fruit. Well, actually, it's mostly sugar and corn syrup. Oh, for God's sake. According to the lawsuit obtained by TMZ, the Pop-Tarts in question are actually heavier on pears and apples than strawberries, which she insists is not enough to provide the berries nutritional benefits, let alone a strawberry well, taste. Well, here's the kicker. There are, you can actually find that pears and apples have a bunch of nutritional benefits almost the same as strawberries, which I have information on. Yeah, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Um, Russell claims Kellogg's is using their packaging to fool folks. Mm -hmm. She's li They're lying. Who want a snack packed with more strawberries. She says the damages exceed $5 million. And she also wants to see Pop-Tarts labeled more okay, accurately. Okay, I can see, okay, I want to see them labeled more accurately. But she's asking for $5 million in her own personal damages because she can't <laughs> read the back of the box. I'm traumatized from strawberry Pop-Tarts. I'm like, what, you thought whole grain was, because they're whole grain, they're healthy? It's Pop-Tarts. <sighs> so here, I have apples versus strawberries and pears versus strawberries. There's less calories in apples than strawberries. Um, wow. Apples and strawberries nutritional differences. Uh, calories, apple is 60. Now, this says there, ca apple has 63% more than a strawberry, which okay. doesn't make sense to me because it contradicts. Um, basically, talking about the differences, you know, fat, strawberries have more fat than apples. There you go. Actually, they're they're helping you watch your waistline. Apples are, and pears both are much higher in fiber, so they're helping you poop. Um, but strawberries have more proteins than apples and pears, but they go down the list oh. about what, what's higher and what, um, and then some vitamins strawberry is, and then some other important things to pears or apples are same with pears. Here's pears. Um, you know, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of the same, you know, things in both uh, that you, this is dumb. So we actually have, uh, I have pulled up the nutritional. Yeah. This is actually from a school site. This is from a school site, okay? Okay. So in a whole grain, I went and made sure it was the whole grain. Whole grain. Pop-Tart. Um, there's 180 calories per serving, which is one pastry. No, why isn't I suing them over the fact they packaged them as two? That is a good question. If I if I were going to sue Kellogg's, I'd be like, you have fooled me for years into thinking a serving size is two Pop-Tarts, when in reality, it's one Pop-Tart. Right, because you package them in Two. twos. Yeah. So why, you know, I'm sure somebody probably already tried. Um, so they're talking about this. This is just looking at the back of the box, right? Um, 
they're talking about their saturated fat and the total fat and all this other stuff in here. And the sodium is, is, you know, 180 milligrams and carbohydrates is 38 grams and fibers three and sugars are 15. And you get down here and you read the ingredients. Number one, whole wheat flour. Oh, yeah, there you Number go. two, sugar. Sugar. Number three, corn syrup. We're gonna zoom in on this corn and syrup. Rich flour, which is wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, vitamin B. What about people who, who have to be on low iron? Uh, diets, which actually happens. How dare they? Soybean and palm oil with stuff added for freshness. Again, you're not worried about that stuff. You're not Fructose, polydextrose. Oh, for God's sake. Now, it contains 2% or less of wheat starch, dried strawberries, dried pears, dried apples. Now, you know, be fair, uh, dried is a concentrated version. So it's not, you're not even getting, it's dried. So you're really not even getting the benefits in general. Um, it's just, it's, it, it's just like, but look, there's dried strawberries or strawberry juice concentrate. Now, here's the oh, thing. Oh, yes, he doesn't have apple and pear juice. Now, no strawberry flavored anything or grape flavored anything actually tastes like real strawberries and real grapes. It's like, like you think of grapes like grape Kool-Aid. It doesn't actually taste like grapes. In fact, Squid King and I have had this conversation multiple times. We've decided that the flavor profile is purple. It just tastes like purple. It tastes like purple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It tastes, like, it tastes, like, it tastes like, you know, red. red. Yeah, pretty much. You know, it could be cherry or, or, or strawberry. It depends on what it is. But I'm sure if you look at, at any of these things that are fruit-based, it's going to have some fruit in it, but it's not going to be the main ingredient. Um, God. When you're buying Pop-Tarts, you're not making a healthy choice anyway. No. Even if it's whole grain, it's not a healthy option. So I'm like, the fact you're suing because of damages for not having the healthy <laughs> healthiness of strawberries it is just funny to me. God, this is... Ridiculous. The product's common or usual name of frosted strawberry toaster pastries is false, misleading, and deceptive because its filling contains a significant amount of non-strawberry ingredients. It also contains a bunch of strawberry juice. Fillers and shit, yeah. Um, strawberry, the suit reads, calling strawberries at one point the most popular berry fruit in the world. Five million dollars, look at this. Many consumers seek snacks which are a healthy indulgence. Healthy indulgence, okay. <laughs> Who out there, when you think I need a healthy snack, Pop-Tarts is what you think of. <laughs> I'm like... Why am I getting fat from eating potato chips? Because potatoes are kind of like they're a vegetable. They're a vegetable. It's healthy, right? I'm just like, this is like... I, oh, my God. Healthy indulgence. Oh, my God. Whether a toaster pastry contains only strawberries... Or merely some strawberries and a significant amount of other less valued fruit. Actually, it turns out they're not less valued. No, they're Actually, more Actually, you know, they're all they all have a very a lot of similarities. Like if you look across the board, uh, I checked the different fruits, and they all have things like they all are like lower cancer, lower cholesterol. Um, pears actually, you know, do, does a lot because of the dietary fiber and apple too. The amounts of dietary fiber actually have many many benefits as well. So that's kind of like you know, apples. <laughs> Strawberries. Oh God! Strawberries are the product's character characterizing ingredient since their amount has material bearing on price and consumer acceptance. And consumers believe they're present in an amount greater than the case. So if you get a strawberry I, I, I lollipop, disagree. strawberry Kool Aid, right? We're all strawberry soda. You know, I, I mean, I, come on. Under the circumstances, because it has a filling, a fruit filling, in quotes, you would. Yeah, I can see what they're saying that they that you expect a lot of strawberries in there. Do better, but Kellogg's. But I'm like, you sat there and ate it for years and you read the back of the box and you're like, I'm going to go see for $5 million? Yes. That's what these people do. Or they throw themselves down in front of a Walmart or something like, oh, I tripped and fell. And then what happens is the rest of us pay for your stupidity. This is why they've got like, what, freaking 16 ounce sodas in New York. Speaking of New York, you're not allowed to buy soda. If I mean, if I want a vat of sugar and I want to drink it and I want to kill myself with diabetes and I should be allowed to. It's America. Yeah, but you, but you, can buy, you can drink multiple <laughs> bottles. So it doesn't change anything. Other than they, they, they make more money for the pop companies or whatever because they have to buy more bottles. But it's like, you know, I, I kind of don't disagree about making sure things are labeled like maybe strawberry, you know, strawberry flavored or something like that. Okay. I don't necessarily disagree with that. But $5 million for damages stupid i'm just like what because that's what the loss is going to cost you <sighs> all right so here's here's somebody who in other in other pop tart news uh recognizes the value of a pop tart uh <laughs> this 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 dude broke into an elementary school 
and he became known as the Pop Tart Bandit. That should have been that should have been the villain in the new the new Home Alone movie, the Pop Tart Bandits. You know, if he bought all those Pop Tarts and cheese sticks, I would have called him the Constipated Bandit because you got all those milks and cheese sticks. He's to gonna, me, that's his constipation waiting to happen. He's totally going to sue now because. Because were they strawberry were, pop tarts? I, I think they were brown sugar and cinnamon. Oh, see now you can at least argue if they're fruit based and it was mostly pear and apple that they he probably that would um, they would cancel the constipation out of the dairy. But you know, I think you missed the opportunity there calling him the constipation bandit. Pop tart bandits accused of stealing eighty nine packages of pop tarts, forty two cheese sticks after breaking into an elementary school. This happened over the summer in uh, North Carolina. Twenty four year old man in a juvenile who authorities deemed the pop tart bandits. Oh my God, they need to be in the new home alone. This would be significantly <laughs> yes, more. Yes, that'd be more fun. It'd be a lot more fun. Allegedly stole nearly 90 packages of Pop-Tarts, among other food, after breaking into an elementary school in North Carolina. Um, Jacob Jacob Jarrett Hamrick, 24, they found him with items stolen from the school during a canvas of area <laughs> residents. <laughs> oh my God. So I can picture him with the, the, the Pop-Tart sniffing dogs. and the. <laughs> Pop-tarts Somebody stole pop tarts. That that, <laughs> that bastard's around here somewhere. <laughs> oh god. Okay, that is one of the most unusual reasons I've ever heard of a police canvas thing for. Eighty-nine packages of pop tarts, thirty-eight cartons of milk, forty-two packages of cheese sticks, eleven containers of strawberry applesauce. Well, apparently he didn't like the applesauce that much. Two cartons of orange juice and six compound bows. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Holy you shit! You can't make this up. Is he, is he like gonna go into a bunker or something? Wait, 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 wait. There was also a pack of crackers stolen, but that had already been eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love how they put the the weapons. They put the weapons last. Yeah, he stole some crackers, some candy bars. He got some McDonald's, and by the way, he's got a bunch of machine guns in the basement. I don't know you where. Know, well, you know, I know the pet compound bows and stuff, but I'm just like the school. Okay, <laughs> if you see the prices schools pay for like supplies or books and things like that, you know, I'm just like, I'm like, oh, poor school. I'm like, no, the school's got plenty of money. But I'm not like, not agreeing with him stealing. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm just like, they set out a police canvassing the area over, you know, pop tarts. And cheese stick. Oh, and a pack of crackers that were already eaten. I'm surprised it, they didn't do a DNA swab on the wrapper. <laughs> and six compound bows. Yeah, the compound bows make sense. That's a little worrisome. It's almost the compound like compound bows that make sense. Yeah, but it's almost like this guy was he was gonna go, he was like stocking up because he was afraid you know the end of the world was coming. They're he had to stock up on he's pop tarts. Sugar up on pop. Now see, he figured that was a healthy option too, apparently. Oh my god, I can't even. Oh. Uh, so there we go. Uh, well, let's talk about this real quick. Um, since we have to tie it into animation, because this we is don't have so to, stupid. but I just wanted something to laugh at because you know what? I'm just. So Don Hertzfeld did an animated short called Rejected, right? And it was pretty well renowned. And it turned out that that was what Kellogg's apparently uh, ripped off for their Pop Tarts. Allegedly. Allegedly, possibly, maybe. They don't want to pay him to do it, so they just that's what that's what they're claiming did it themselves. But uh, so there we go. You know, Kellogg's has always been really dubious. Uh, we're watching the the food that the food that made America, which I love that show. Mm -hmm. It's so dramatic. It is you know, dramatic like, reenactments of how food was developed. The Kellogg and Post feud that was very dramatic. Um, but uh, you know, you watch it, and it's like I could just I could just see this thing going down. You know, like, like twenty years from now, we'll do an episode about the Pop Tarts. It's like. Damn it, we're being sued. There's not enough strawberry in our Pop Tarts. Yes. <laughs> dun, mean, dun, dun. Well, we have what? We had peach ones at home. Was there a lot of peach in it? Did you look? No, it said artificially flavored. Uh, natural and artificial flavors. That's all they got to do is say natural and art. And look, they say it's fruit filling. It's mostly fruit and a lot of corn syrup. And it's strawberry flavored because there's strawberry juice in it. So this is stupid. You can say strawberry flavored Pop Tarts with quasi fruit filling. It's go. not as appetizing as strawberry pop-tarts. If you're health conscious anyway, pop-tarts are probably not what you're going to be does, eating. It doesn't matter if they're whole grain. They're not diet pop-tarts. Hey, and you can make your own pop-tarts. There's all kinds of recipes out there for it, and you can put whatever fruit you want in it. You know, make your own jelly and put it inside. <laughs> be good. Um, I don't know. This whole thing is just... I, I just want something to laugh about, because there's so much crap in the world that is just absolute stupidity. 
let's just throw another log on the fire and just take uh, 10 minutes just to have a good laugh and move on. Kellogg's, however, is not not laughing and moving on because now they're getting super $5 million, which is nothing to them. This is like the stupid or McDonald's. Or the buzzing of flies to them. Yeah, this is like, yeah, it's like chump change. This is like the uh, the stupid McDonald's coffee debacle. It was like, why would you put scolding hot coffee between your legs? I know. It's like, or weren't they just getting in trouble because people were mad because the, the fast food wasn't healthy? Yeah. Imagine that. So then, then we had to, you know, we had to put all the nutritional information on all the food. I mean, I don't disagree with nutritional information and what's in it. I think that's important. But I'm like, you go someplace that you know doesn't have something that is healthy, and then you yell it because it's not healthy. Yeah, people were suing McDonald's. If I remember correctly, people were suing McDonald's for them being fat. It's no like, one opened your mouth and shoved the, the burger in. Unless they did. In that case, I'd, I'd, I'd sue the person that did. Yeah, that's I'm like, come on. It's like, don't put your meat in my mouth, please stop it. I am 100% for... I'm 100% for nutritional information on packages and what's inside. I mean, that I agree with. Even if fast food tells you the caloric, because you might not realize that it, something you might think it's a little something. It's not that bad. Not understanding that there's a lot of calories in it. Yeah. I'm 100% for that. Okay. But if this person was as health conscious as they claim to be, they would have just read the back of the box that told them everything. Like the two, two of the top three ingredients are corn syrup and sugar. <sighs> That being said, these are not actually No, you can Kellogg's. make your own. There's yeah. a lot of people who have recipes for making their own. And they don't put the frosting on them if they want it to be better. You know what's good, surprisingly? What? The, the Disney-fied Pop-Tarts in uh, Toy Story. Like. I wouldn't know. I never got to try. Oh. Because I didn't get to go in the media access that I helped turn. <laughs> so yeah, I know. But they're, they're actually better than actual Pop-Tarts. Uh, they're actually pretty good. Every so. time we go, it was always so busy. I could never get near it enough yeah. to get one. So Or they were, you know, I just didn't never try them. Uh, we'll have to try them one of these days. Eh, maybe. I'll just mm -hmm. make it myself. They have recipes, guys. Seriously, you can make these yourself. People freeze them and then just reheat them. And, you know. You can put as many real strawberries in there if you want to. You, you can, can put, use honey to sweeten instead of sugar. Somebody should just make her, like, a freaking just a, a wad of dough with berries in it. Berry dough. And say, here's your damn strawberries. I just think it's funny. I mean, if it was just about changing the box, it's okay. About money. I think that Kellogg's needs to, you know, make it more clear that it's it's strawberry flavored. Um, okay, fine. Uh, because you don't want to you can't be bothered to flip the box over and read the back. But um the the fact that she wants five million dollars for for it is just what amuses me so much. I am so tired of the government regulation of foodstuffs. I mean, remember back in the good old days when Cigarettes were healthy and babies could smoke them? No, I see. I, I, I could disagree with you on this one. I mean, seriously, that He's was... He's kidding, by the way. You have to actually disclaim I that. I do this. have to disclaim that because there'd be some dumbass in the comments. Oh, my God. We need to get... We're going to flag your channel and get you canceled because you said babies should be allowed to smoke. <laughs> hey, Van Halen knew... <laughs> Van Halen knew smoking babies are... Great for Wait, sales. Smoking. No, not babies, not smoke. Okay. Smoking bait. No, that's. However, apparently, some, apparently that's it's a cuties, thing. That's something else. No, apparently it's a oh. thing in Hollywood going around for a while there where they smoking were babies. No, but it's involving babies. Oh God! Like, Listen, no. would you stop? Let me talk. So apparently they were making face creams out of uh, baby foreskin. Oh, jeez. I'm not kidding you. That's much worse than Pop-Tarts not having enough strawberries. Oh, the thought they rubbed it, their face would get bigger. I don't people know were, it. People were eating placentas. They were like- Oh my God, there was recipes. Frying their own- Okay, I'm gonna puke, just stop talking. Did okay. they add strawberries? <laughs> no. Was there enough strawberries? It was red, so that means that it's, it's strawberry flavored. Anyway, can we please just stop now? I think I think that we started out being funny and now you're just grossing everybody out. We're just grossing everybody out. So well, we need to stop. These Pop Tart commercials kinda of gross people out because they're murdering the Pop Tart. I felt I didn't like the ones that eat the baby. I'm sorry. Speaking of which, yeah. I, I didn't yeah, speaking of which. I didn't like that commercial. I thought some people think it's funny and that's cool, you're allowed to like it. I just I just that was one I was like, mmm. Mmm. As a mom, I just couldn't I hated that commercial. Anyway. Anyway, um, I'm, I think we're, we're gonna wrap this up. There's nothing left to say. We have overspoken. We have overset it. We have overshared. <laughs> but I hope it, it made you laugh a little bit. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.